Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a repeating heart pattern in Photoshop. First off, we are going to create a document. So go ahead and click on Create New. The dimensions I'm going to use for this is going to be 400 pixels by 400 pixels. We're going to set our resolution to 300. Our color mode is RGB color. Our background contents we are going to switch to transparent and then we'll go ahead and create this document. Zooming in on my canvas here, I'm gonna click uh, Command and then the plus key. And then I am going to bring up my layers panel. And then depending on where you have it, if you don't see your layers panel, you can go to Windows and select Layers here. Next, we are going to create our heart shape. And so before we do that, let's go into our shape. So selecting windows, if you don't have this pulled up, you could always go to shapes here. I'm gonna pull it up here. In your Adobe Photoshop, if you don't see the default shapes, you could always bring them up by going to the shapes panel here and then you'll select the um, three line icon and then you can always select uh, legacy shapes and more and then it will load the original default shapes that uh, Photoshop had. So I just wanted to show you that there um, in case you did not see your default shapes. Now that you have your uh, default shape, now that you know that your default shapes are there, we're going to create our heart shape. So going to our uh, custom shape tool here, we are going to select the heart tool. So the heart tool um, under the, once you've loaded your legacy shapes and more, you'll scroll down to all legacy default shapes, and then you'll find it under the shapes folder. From the drop down, you can then select your heart. Okay. And then just clicking, you can uh, click and drag to create it, or you can click on your canvas. I'm going to use a width of 150 pixels. And then to uh, preserve the proportions, you can click um, preserve proportions here and then hit OK, and then it will um, create that shape on your canvas. We are going to center it in the middle. So I'm going to pull up my layers panel here just so I have it. And then I to um, center it, I'm going to uh, make sure that layer is selected. I'm going to click M for the marquee tool. I'm going to go Command A to select everything. You'll notice that the, the whole canvas gets selected there. And then I'm going to press V for the move tool. And then we're going to use these um, horizontal align center and then align it uh, vertically as well there. I like to do it that way because it makes um, Photoshop do the work on making sure it's perfectly aligned in the center. From here, we can deselect everything Command D. We are going to create a duplicate of this layer. You can go right click and duplicate layer. On this uh, duplicate layer here, we are going to go up to Filter, Other, and then Offset. And then uh, Photoshop will prompt you to uh, convert it to a smart object. And then for this offset feature, to, uh, we want to get it in the, all four corners here to create that repeatable pattern. And so uh, considering the size of our canvas here, uh, we have 400 pixels by 400 pixels. So to do the offset, you are going to go half of that. So in this case, we're going to go um, 200 pixels horizontally and 200 pixels vertically. And you'll want to make sure on the undefined areas that you have it set to wrap around. We'll go ahead and click on OK there. So now we have our, our um, basic pattern of our heart kind of polka dot pattern here. So next we are going to define our pattern. So we're going to go to Edit, Define Pattern. You can give uh, your pattern a name and then click on OK. The next step is we are going to create a, another document. So we're going to go File, New. This time I'm going to create it the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper. So we have 3,600 pixels 
by 3600 pixels. We're going to set our resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Our color mode is going to be RGB color. And then at this time for background contents, I'm going to set it to white. And then I will click to create. From here, we are going to create our pattern layer. So in the layers panel here, clicking on the adjustment layer, we're going to use a pattern adjustment layer. Selecting our pattern from the drop box, we are going to select our new heart pattern here. And then when this dialog box is open, you have the option to change the angle. You can scale it up, scale it down. You can even move it around to see if you want to reposition it in a different place. And then if you want to get back to the original, you just click on snap to origin. Go ahead and click on OK. The next step is we are going to recolor our pattern here. So I'm going to uh, go back to the layers panel, choosing another adjustment layer. This time I'm going to do solid color. And then I'm going to select a color. I'm going to choose one of my swatches here. And then click on OK here. And then next you are going to create a clipping mask. So to do that, you can, with that layer selected, you're going to right click and you can select Create Clipping Mask. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Hovering between the two layers here, you're going to click you're going to select option on your keyboard and then click. That is for Mac users. I believe it's Alt for PC. So we have created our um, pattern and given it a color. And then you can easily click back in on this layer and then select a new color if you like um, there, which makes it really easy to um, change the color of your image of your pattern design here. And then if you want to change the background color, um, you can add another solid color adjustment layer and then selecting another color here. We'll give it this two tone effect. I'm actually going to switch those ones. We'll put the lighter one on top and then we'll do uh, the darker one here on the bottom just to kind of give it that fine uh, two tone effect here. Uh, the next step, I'm going to uh, create a group from these layers. So clicking shift and then selecting all of them there. You can go right click and select group from layers or you can use the keyboard shortcut command G for uh, Mac users there to create a group. And then uh, the next step is I want to try um, to create another heart pattern. So we're going to jump back into our pattern here. And this time I'm going to um, click on this center heart here. I'm going to rotate it. In certain pattern designs, you have um, pr prints that are directional, and then you have prints that are can go in any direction. And you achieve this by having the pattern um, not just be in one direction. So to do this, we are going to rotate this. So just with it highlighted, our move tool here, I'm just going to start the rotation and then I'll just um, select 180 degrees here and then click OK. And then we are going to define this pattern. So now we have, um, we'll unclick here first, edit, define pattern. And then just select OK here. We'll head back into our document here. Let's go ahead and duplicate this group with the right click duplicating it. And then um, you can pull the drop down arrow there. And then we'll select this pattern fill layer. Go ahead and click on it again. And then we will select our uh, new pattern that we created. And then we'll hit OK. And so uh, now we have this pattern. And so with it rotated, it kind of looks just a little bit funky. The spacing looks a little bit off through here. And so sometimes it's just about trial and error and seeing what looks good. Let's go ahead and change the colors just to try another um, look here. So let's go maybe give it a little bit of a, a light blue and then we'll add a dark blue there just to give it a fun new effect. So I actually want to change that, fix that a little bit. I'm going to, this um, heart here that is upside down, I'm going to shift it up a little bit just to see how that looks here. So we'll, we'll just um, highlight it and then just kind of bring it up a little bit just to see how that looks there. So we'll go ahead and define this one, edit define pattern. 
click OK there and then we'll jump back in here. And then I'm going to create another group, duplicate this group just so we can kind of compare between the two. Highlighting on this pattern fill layer, double clicking, we'll select our new pattern that we created and then you can click OK and then you can kind of check to see if it has a little bit of a better look by moving it up and then we will um, turn that layer off and then just kind of compare it. So that was our before, here is our after and there and I like it, it looks a little bit more um, even um, of the spacing there. So. Um, the next step is we can, um, in this case, we can choose to um, save it as digital scrapbook paper. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, go ahead and give it a name, and then you'll select your folder. And then under Format, you're going to choose the drop down, and this time we're going to select JPEG. And then um, just to be aware, you'll want to make sure that this embed color profile is still selected, and then click Save. In the case of digital scrapbook paper, if you are planning to sell it, you want to make sure it's um, the highest quality. So here on the image options, you can drag it all the way to the side to have it to be the maximum for quality. And then you can click OK. And then we can do uh, the same for our other pattern. Let's turn off these layers here. And then we have our original um, heart pattern here. And then we can go ahead and save this one as well. So let's go just to File, Save As, give it a name, choose your folder, and then again, selecting our JPEG, clicking Save, and then click OK to save our paper. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a repeating heart um, pattern in Photoshop. If you like this video, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description, I will leave a link to my shop where you can find uh, Photoshop pattern templates. You can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell digital scrapbooking paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.